Hello all, back with another summary from our Overhearts Academy campaign, a Monster Hearts 2 game. So, picking up where we left off last time, the group treaded off into the woods, following the mucky trail to its first bend. Warned very carefully never to leave the path, the group, noticing a cabin out beyond the path, decided they would go to the cabin out beyond the path. As they pushed towards this cabin, they quickly realized that Madeline, one of the NPCs with them, was gone, with only strings left behind. As the group pushed through into the cabin, hoping to find a phone, they found a flooded graveyard. Strange, unusual, and little voices calling to them. The group began to trudge through as eventually these pixies rose up from nowhere. These little blue creatures demanded answers to riddles and questions. Some people played their games, some did not. But after they crossed the flooded graveyard, they made their way to a more packed down gravel road. They continued to follow this, concern hitting them, panic hitting some, realizing Madeline might be gone. Looking to find out where she is, the witch projected itself through its eyes, finding a small industrial place where something went odd. A hound threatened it, which and said it was coming for them. In a panic, Luca made, started hurrying down, trying to hopefully get through this before things get worse. With Ash and Short shortly behind, the others made their way peacefully down the road. Everything was going to be okay. Eventually, the group ended up becoming split up. Luca and Ash going to this other place where they found an abandoned radio shelter. Luca faced the dog and ended up triggering his darker self. While Ash freed Madeline, who was in tears and stuck very close to Ash, clinging for dear life. Ash coming out only in time to see Luca vanish. Meanwhile, the others continued on, finding a gap in the road between the paved highway they're used to seeing, and their gravel road was this dark void. They also found Jasper along the way. As they continued to question how to do this, someone threw a stone, dispelling the illusion and finding a way out of this place. It was long before Ash and Madeline also appeared, clinging together, screaming that they had to find Luca. The others convinced her that this was all some swamp gas smoke dream. The gaslighting game is strong in this campaign. Wow. Meanwhile, Luca ported to another place in the forest and was attacked by the cat ghost, as it's become to be called. He managed to escape from it, and make his way off, finding Esma also injured, possibly from this creature. They put aside their family differences just long enough to get back to the school. Once their police and ambulances helped patch everyone up, started questioning people, and brought everyone to the cafeteria who was on the trip for kind of a debrief. The principal explained that there would be help for those who needed it, and that they were welcome to head home. Most of their parents could call, but those who didn't feel comfortable could stay behind for counseling or other details. As everyone was gathered together, there was much social happening. Uh, Robin pushed as much to the point of snapping and ended up at Luca's table. Um, Jasper, trying to be filled in, seemed to be a patsy to Esma. Victoria and Luca have made some kind of unsettling alliance, while Madeline has tried to ingratiate Ash into the others she sits with, who are not Victoria. Eventually, Madeline asked Ash if she get her, they could go home together. As Robin and Ewan were some of the first to leave, heading over to Robin's place for an evening together, um, Luca eventually heading home. Ash and Madeline took the spotlight on their drive home. Madeline seemed to have a lot on her mind after today and was worried Ash would hate her. Ash got her to open up and explain that, you know, Victoria was not the worst person in class. In Madeline's opinion, the most evil person within the class would be Olivia. This shocked Ash and had her pushing deeper. And as Madeline confessed that Olivia might have had something to do with the murder of the old teacher, the car tire blew and they drove off the road into a swiping a pole and everything blacking out. Waking up later with some minor injuries, the day is continued. On to the next day, Madeline seemed to be slightly hurt but not too bad. Darcy was super focused on Ash. Esma and Anakin did not show up today. 
and Victoria had Nemo change seats with them. Luca decided he would go to the principal's office, get some records on his father, and found out it was his father's older brother. Ash decided she was going to spy on Luca, and it seemed that Darcy might be trying to spy on Ash. And I believe that's where we left off, everyone. Hope everyone had a great time. Hope everyone's having a great week. And I will see you all Tuesday. Bye for now.